So if we go back 50,000 years ago, when modern humans, our direct ancestors, started spreading seriously across Eurasia from Africa, then there were a number of other groups or types of hominins that they might have met. It was for sure the Neanderthals in Europe and Western Asia. There were distant relatives of Neanderthals, the Denisovans in Asia. There were also other groups in Asia. For example, we know about this Homo floresiensis, the hobbits, the short-statured guys in Indonesia, and probably several other groups in addition that are not so well known. And of course, when we now have the genomes, quite complete genome sequences of Neanderthals and Denisovans, we can say a lot about when they had common ancestors, when and how they mixed with each other. But the sad little secret of genomics is in a way that we cannot say very much about what they were like just from the genome sequences. We can say a little bit about that there is seems that they have had rather dark skin and light eyes, for example, rather trivial things. Uh, but it's really for future scientists to try to figure out how they were functioning in a cognitive sense or socially and so on. I think it's very reasonable to think it has to do with modern humans and their behavior. But in what form? And it, we don't know. It could have been direct competition or indirect competition. It could have been different reasons in different parts of the world. In some sense, um, the great apes are sort of endangered today. We know it's due to our activities, but it's a very complex process. It has to do with how numerous we are, our technology, our culture, and our tendency to spread and invade other people groups' habitats.